Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name is Kennedy Seed. I'm a cinematographer, visual effect artist. Um, it's been a while I made a YouTube video, and uh, the last time I did a YouTube video was like 2016, 2015. You know, but today I got a little bit of time in the studio, and I'm like, why not? Let me just whip out a video for y'all to see. Anyways, pay attention, stay focused. This might really get a little bit fast. I'm gonna keep this as short as possible and I'm gonna try to convey as much necessary information as possible. I've been receiving a lot of DMs, emails, and comments from other creative talents out there, you know, asking me how do I approach my color grading? How do I tell stories with my color? You know, how do I convey emotions with my colors? So I'm like, why not? Let me just make a video, show you guys my workflow, see what you guys think. But then again, this is all a creative process. There is no such best method to approach color grading. It all depends on whatever floats your boat. For me, I like to color correct my images first before moving on to the grading part. You know, all of y'all know that there's a whole lot of difference between color correction and color grading. And when you talk about color correction, you're talking about correcting parts of the image, fixing the colors, the highs and the lows that are not right, like the shadows and the highlights, making sure they're balanced out. For example, the image on my screen right now, by the way, I love working with adjustment layers. It saves me a lot of stress, you know, and not mess up the images when I'm moving things around. So color correction, I'm trying to set this image right before color grading. I could just go ahead and pop up the saturation and the contrast just to bring out those blacks. This is what we have before and this is what we have now. Uh, working on the clips individually because different scenarios get different looks, highlights, colors, and all whatnot. So color correcting is pretty much balancing out the individual clips before proceeding to color grading the entire sequence. Now when you talk about color grading, you're talking about converting emotions, telling stories with your colors, looks. Uh, for example, let me just make a quick flashback on this scene. So. I got this image shot on a Gemini 5K red camera and I'm trying to make a quick flashback. So I'm just going to kill the saturation and, you know, adjust the contrast a little bit and pull down the shadows and maybe a little bit on the highlights as well. Uh, so this is me trying to tell a story, trying to tell the viewers, hey, this is a flashback. So guys, this is how I approach my workflows. I go with the color correction first before proceeding with the grading. I'm a note based artist when it comes to compositing for visual effect, but when I'm editing or color grading, for me to keep things organized, I love to work on layers. I used to work with DaVinci um, on the same note based process, you know, working on Creative Cloud right now, the Lumetri color panel is a little bit kind of different but because you know you're working you're applying everything on layers but at the end of the day you get the same result pretty much so i use two basic tools for my color correction and color grading workflow and those are delimetry color and cinema grid cinema grid is a very good um tool you could use to achieve those dope cinematic look to your footages to your film to your music videos you know without even being a professional color grading artist or without being an advanced color grading artist and it's it's really really quite intuitive but the thing is there is no such thing as the best tool for color grading you know i feel like um uh, getting the best result also depends a lot on you the artist how much you understand color space lights cameras and all whatnot and uh, it's all a creative process like i said but i think cinema grid is really good you know because you don't have to like you know go through all the whole complicated process of color grading you know everything is just it's just like a click of a button and you can adjust any part of the image you want to work on like the shadows the highlights or the midtones i'm gonna show you guys in a bit so without further ado guys let's get into the press of my color grading this is it i have two layers already these are simple adjustment layers you guys already know how to get adjustment layers uh just level them cinema gray drag and drop and then proceed with the open control like i said guys it's gonna be a little bit fast i'm trying to make this as short as possible open controls what is going on is it already open I gotta close this out first. Do this again. All right, here we go. So this is the the interface. 
of cinema grid i'm just gonna do a quick rundown on the tools so that you have an idea what's going on here so you have the base correction this is pretty much where all the work is done like the workshop where you do all the correction and all the messing around if you must say so you have the shot machine if you're coming from a davinci workflow you know what you mean by like shot merging when you copy grades and you want to transfer them to other clips or you know entire sequence and then you have the final grading this is where it gets really fun you can add your loots or your looks they already have some preset added to and then you have your look transfer if you if you have like um let's say an an image you grabbed off of a movie or the internet you know make sure it's one with a good resolution you can save it out of your computer save it out into your computer and uh well let me just do this show you guys how it works sorry about that you know what's going on here um yeah just uh save this out this doesn't really work well sometimes it's just like a hit and miss type of thing and then go to choose image and then downloads uh right here open and match you know something like this then you could go in and tweak the mix a little bit and get it to how you want it to look i don't really use this i don't really advise this you know but just to show you you know that it's there for you if you want to use it but anyway and i use futu here that they just added is the video scope yep the video scope guys you don't want to walk blind you want to be able to see your highs and your lows your vector scope your histogram you know that is a video scope and for you to get it you know just go to the view most of the time it's not really on by default you just need to go target it out there by the way guys cinema grade is designed to work with uh mac computers operating system only for now you can use it on with uh, it's compatible with davinci premiere pro final card uh and then back to the menu you have the control button the exposure broken into three parts the shadows mid-tones and highlights and of course the overall exposure so what makes this uh tool unique is that you can literally work on any part of the image the shadow mid-tones or highlight just with one click just like this guys click and then drag up and down to adjust i'm just working on the shadows you can see uh, option click so deselect and then the highlight as well same thing up and down to adjust the values and then you have the overall exposure and same goes to this tool by the side so this is also the you know controls overall controls the same thing you can adjust the exposure and every other settings as well so this is it guys for the temperature if you don't want to use this you could use it but this is more like applies to the whole footage i prefer this because this you have the option of working on the individual part of the images like shadows, midtones, highlights, and so on. So I would always go here, you know, rather than using the the overall controls. And then you have the shot matching, you have the final grading. I already explained how those works. Then you have the color temperature. You could do auto white balance if you choose. And you also have the saturation, also you know, broken into three parts: shadows, midtones, and the highlights. And then of course you have the adjustment controls for the colors, the hue, mid-tones, uh, sorry, the hue, lumer, and saturations. So guys, I'm just going to quickly walk on this uh, clip and show you guys how I pretty much uh, color grade my images. I start off with the exposure just to make sure the, 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 the exposures are right by uh, adjusting the blacks, the shadows, making sure they're right but not you know not killing the whole details in the image uh just return a little bit of information on that tires and the grass and then going back to the highlights as well and you know popping it up and then i proceed with the contrast or pivot you know whatever works for you just to get those true blacks and the shadows as well i make music videos and most of the time you just want the the image to to pop out the colors to pop you want those blacks to really be real blacks and you want the colors to look really colorful but when i'm working on movies or commercials you want everything to look a little bit warm natural looking not really too colorful you know less saturated you know and uh, the warm looks of course so guys moving on color temperature 
think I'm good with this, not too much. And then the saturation, adjust it a little bit. Well, I think I'm good with this. This is the original and the graded. So I can apply this. I could just close this out. So for me to color match this image clip, let's say um, I'm really good with this grading. I love the grading. And then I'm trying to apply the same grading. I could do it in two ways. I already have a layer. It's as easy as expand, extending the layer to the next clip. This is why it's really good to work on layers so you can easily move things around. Otherwise, if I want to do everything on cinema grade, I could go ahead and, you know, drop in a new layer and then drop in cinema grade on the new layer and then open controls. And then instead of me start color correcting all over, I'm just going to go to the shot machine and make this the reference or hero shot. And this is the slave shot. And then proceed to match shot, copy corrections, apply, and boom. This is it, guys. And then you can apply. So, but if you have more than one clip selected, you're gonna have to go apply to grip. So it's gonna apply to all the selections from the ref shot, otherwise, you know, the hero shot here. And if you go back to the base correction, the correction is already applied, and then you can apply, and it's gonna come to the selected clip. This is it guys. So I kind of like do my, you know, adjustments and my balancing and corrections and everything. I like to do it on cinema grid. Um, when it comes to other extra advanced features, like, um, okay, let's say for example, I'm trying to add like a faded film feel or faded film look uh, to this image. I, I love to, you know, use Lumetrick on a different layer for that one. So, you know, something like this, just to get that, you know, washed out film look, um, not too much. And, you know, maybe push the highlights colors a little bit, see how this looks, uh, you know, just play around and see what works for you guys. Like I said, there's no rule to this. <laughs> it depends on what you're trying to say with your color grading and then pop down the shadows a little bit. Mm not too bad and you know try to create some colors in the shadows see how it looks and then the highlights of course okay this is what we have so this is the original footage and this is the with cinema grade of course i could leave it like this uh, I could as well apply the Lumetric with the Lumetric looking washed out, you know. I'm just doing this for you guys to have an idea how this works, right? So let's say I'm working on this clip. Uh, for those of you that love the feel of the, you know, the teal and orange, the Hollywood teal and orange, you know, which everybody's going crazy about. Um, it's as simple as the same process, drop in the cinema grid on the adjustment layer, open controls. And then I'm just gonna dive straight on uh, the hue and the loomer. And then I just all the way till I get those teal fill on the sky. And if you take a close look guys, you can see the jacket is, you know, becoming washed out and losing, you know, it's just not looking realistic. So you're trying to make it as realistically dark as possible. So I'm just gonna select the individual uh, exposure and then select the dark part with his shadows and turn it down a little bit. I'm not gonna push too much guys. I'm, I'm still, I still want to use the contrast to balance out the, you know, the brightest and the darkest part of the image. Uh, yeah, I think this works for me. And if I feel like the face is a little bit dark, I just want to pop out the face. I could do this uh, on the adjustment with the loomer corrections and the control says um, drag up and down or adjust hue shifts plus drag up and down or adjust saturation and command drag up and down for loomer so I'm gonna move on and click on the face and I'm gonna intentionally pull this all the way up for you guys to see what is happening on the scene um, yeah let's try this out pay close attention to our face guys I'm gonna really get it really, really way, way, way super bright so you can see what is going on. 
the adjustment I'm making is just on her face alone because like I said you know this tool is really good it's just like a click on a particular portion on an area you want to work on and the adjustment is just gonna be applied on just that area you selected so this is the raw footage and this is the graded applied boom that's it and then I can decide to add a little bit of the telemetry as well you know maybe bring back our you know body here the fitted washed out film look like I said this is just for tutorial purposes you know you guys just I just want you guys to you know have an idea how I I um, approach my color correction and my color grading workflow and then the shadows And maybe reduce this a little bit and you have to go back and forth see what works and if I feel like this is a little bit too saturated I could tone it down a little bit from here or I could also go to cinema grade and you know tone down the saturation you know but I love to do it here so this is it guys this is the image and yeah looking good this is without the raw image the raw footage this is with cinema grade and this is limetric added this is what we have at the end of the day well i'm gonna leave a link on the description description for this music video so you guys could watch it and uh and let me know what you think and i love the comments i get from clients at the end of the day so i think i'm gonna stick with these tools for a while you know except when I discover something else. I love to have everything in one place. That's why I love, you know, working with Lumetric and cause I'm editing on uh, um, Creative Cloud as well. So I love to have everything in one place and then combine with Cinema Grade. I'm not really a fan of, you know, exporting files, EDLs, back and forth, other softwares. I love having everything in one place. I don't have a problem installing additional plugins or uh, uh, loots, but I love to have it in one place. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys are feeling this. Let me know if you have any other contribution or any other ways you approach your color grading process, whatever works for you. Just leave me a comment in the comment section. Uh, be sure to like, of course, share and use this video as well, but not for commercial purposes. And yeah, if you guys want me to keep making videos of my workflow, I could make videos of my workflows, but I'm not really promising it's going to be constant, but I could try to drop a video. Uh, like a shot video once in a month. I could also make videos on my visual effects workflows as well. Uh, by the way, big love and shout out to all the artists that their music videos are being used for this tutorial video. And uh, yeah, guys, follow me on Instagram where I post uh, much of my daily production behind the scenes and all whatnot. And uh, yeah, see you later. Bye.